folks yeah new year I'm gonna try something new here I've had I've had uh, uh, facial hair for many 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 years so I decided this year we're gonna try it without seeing I'm down here in Florida now where it's warmer I don't need this extra insulation up here so, so we New Year's it came off um, we'll see for how long though yeah hey guess what came in let me show you ha uh -huh. I bet you can't guess what that is it's the new bumper front bumper it's the van compass hidden bumper uh, this is how they ship it here in a wooden crate so it should be no problems here I started I started t opening it up here um, so let me get it open and then uh, I got an appointment too I was gonna do it myself but this thing is so heavy and that's without the winch I have the winch inside that came also the Warren Warren 12,000 pound winch that thing's heavy so I I, I, got, I got a I got another van company right over here in Sarasota um, what is the name of their van of their place uh, our our van quest I believe it is uh, they're over in Sarasota and um, they're gonna take me Tuesday can't believe it they're gonna squeeze me in they have a couple of jobs going but they're gonna squeeze me in and uh, they're gonna put on the front hitch for me oh not the front hitch the front bumper with the winch and yeah, so I'll be one huge project out of the way I just I, I, I wanted to do it myself but uh, it's just, it's really a two-man maybe a three-man job so I'm going to um, I'm gonna have them do it and I'll tackle the rest so um, my uh, my van compass tire carrier and ladder is on its way you FedEx has it or is it UPS one of them uh, they have it so uh, yep the uh, door is the door is coming uh, the ladder door is coming and the tire rack is coming I have the box here so we'll be installing that hopefully by the end of next week so getting really close to finishing this thing um, to this project open it up and see what we have uh, here it is That's how they wrap this thing. All right. That's exactly how it's going to sit. Yeah, this thing is heavy. Man, there's no between the bumper and this, there's no way I'd get that on there alone. Yeah. Man. So this is uh, the one I have. The twelve thousand synthetic. I didn't want the cable. I wanna go with the synthetic. Um Yep. So we'll see. This should get me out of trouble. Believe me, I you know, always get myself in a hole. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're all packed up. We're ready to go. I'm going to open this up, though. I want to make sure I have all the pots in there, all the little pots and stuff. Um, all right. My cabinets are coming. He said they're going to ship them first of next week. So, hopefully, that's it. That would That's... We'll be on the road in a few days. All right, folks. Let me uh, get over there, and we'll show. We'll continue this after everything's installed, and show you how it looks. Hey right, guys, get the winch all installed. Let me show you that. So the winch, the winch is all in. I showed you that uh, earlier and um, I put a piece of foam in here 
and I tuck the cable because it's a synthetic cable so I don't want the salt and the sand getting into the cable um, the line it will just deteriorate and weaken it so I put a little of that pipe insulation in here oh where are you there you go and I just tuck that in the hole that will keep the salt sand and grime from getting in there and then I have a winch cover coming uh, it'll be here in a couple of days the one I had it was just too small it didn't work so now that that's in I can finally finish installing my uh, my uh, spotlights on the front dash here so that's what I'm doing now I just drilled the uh, holes here to keep it locked in place and what I what I figured out is if you take a stick and you put it across the frame and you make sure that see how nice and tight that is and then that one right there same thing uh, it keeps it keeps the two beams straight on. Um, it'll help me keep keep it aligned. So that is uh, that's what I'm doing right now, uh, putting them in, and uh, then I'll go back to the rear and finish that project back there. Those pots came in finally. Um, so let me continue on here and um, go from there. So I just drill these holes back from the hardware store so we can uh, put the additional bolts on here to lock it in place. I don't want the vibration in that turning these uh, lights. So let me install that. I'll show you what it looks like finished. Okay. Here we go. I gotta do something about the insignia right there. I'm thinking about doing the chrome red or orange fire red to match the uh, toe hooks down at the bottom. I think that'll be compl that'll be a good compliment. I just don't like that chrome sticking out. So it's either gonna be black, I'm gonna black it out, or I'm gonna do the red up here and tie that in with that. Uh, it's too breezy today to do that, so I'm going to wait. But yeah, lights, those are in. I got the brackets coming for the ditch lights up here. Uh, I had a bad experience at one company. It was a horror show. I'll, I'll tell you about that later. Um, Got to stay away from those people. Really bad. Uh, so I ended up going with Owl Van. They sell them, so a little bit more money, but... They're reputable people, and they have good products. So I ordered them yesterday. They'll be they're already they're already shipped. So I'll have these hopefully by Monday, and I'll have my ditch lights put on. Those are two by two lights that will shine this way into the ditch. Because um, these lights are really too. They're they're more for out beyond you know 50, 25, 50 yards out further. And you get you get a little shadow over here on this side of the truck, so you use the ditch lights. That's what they are to light up the ditch on each side of the road. Uh, so we have I already have the lights. I just need the bracket. So they're coming. All right, now let's go over here to the back. Okay, the rear driver's side storage mount and ladder tire carrier finally came in um, so in the two boxes here this box is um, the mounting hardware to attach it to the door um, and this box over here is if you're going to have a tire, if you're going to carry a spare tire, they send you the uh, the rod that goes through, and then the uh, your um, bracket here to hold the tire to the carrier, uh, and then you have some uh, bolts on here, um, and those are for your your steps that are going to be screwed into the ladder, so you can climb that ladder going up to the roof. That's what these here are for. Boy, they're pretty light too. Wow. Uh, anyway, 
Okay, so that's what's in these two boxes when you get this whole setup. And well, I get the door open, but it's gonna go basically right here. So that's this afternoon's project. Let's get that installed. And this isn't, you know, this isn't that hard. It's just tedious. And, you know, double and triple check your measurements before you drill. You only have to drill one hole, and that's this bracket right here. And you got to do the same thing on the driver's side. Just drill one hole. And you can be off, you can be off a uh, quarter inch all anywhere, you know, in any, any uh, edge. Um, there's enough leeway there, so you don't have to be, it's not like a finish, you're not, you're not doing finished carpentry here, where you need to be down to like the millimeter, but, um, it's not, it's not that hard. You save yourself a lot of money for, I think I've saved a couple of thousand dollars already by doing a lot of this little stuff here myself. Um, you know, installed the lights, well, they're not wired, but they're in place. The, uh, the uh, storage box, the skid plate underneath, the trim around the fender wells, the uh, hidden light bar out front, the lights, the spotlight, these racks here, um, the cabinets that I'm going to pick up, I just changed, I'm going to be driving to California, San Diego, I made my decision yesterday, I called them, and, um, it was 650 bucks for them to ship all the cabinets to Florida, and I'm going to I'm going to Arizona or any Western Arizona. I'm going to be I don't know 50 miles from the border of California, and San Diego is another couple of hours beyond that. So I figured while I'm out there, I must well just drive to their place and pick it up. I'll save 650 bucks. And when you go to pick it up, they do complimentary installation. So they're going to install the whole thing for nothing. And if there's an issue, I'm right there, and they'll be able to correct it immediately. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. If fuel is down, they said they got diesel in San Diego right now is averaging around $4. Uh, so it's, uh, it's reasonable. And uh, so that's $6.50. I'll put that towards my trip going out and back. Like I said, I'm going out anyway, so, you know. I'll just take an extra day, shoot over to San Diego, put that in, and the next day go back to uh, Arizona and do my thing. So that's the latest plan. Um, I think it just made sense to do that. Uh, all right, let me let me get um, let me get on this door. I get the ladder coming. That's that's they already shipped my owl ladder. I wasn't going to do it. I had one of those telescopic ladders. And I, uh, I'm i having trouble trying to find a place to store that stupid ladder. So, so I decided, yeah, okay. So I'm going to put the ladder, I'm going to put the owl ladder over here. And then I have that ladder to get to clean the solar panels. And I have the Agile storage tray going up. That's, that, so I'll be able to get... To the, the duffel bags and the things I'll have stored up there in front of the AC on the uh, on the storage tray, so that lad is going to come in perfect. So I figured, yeah, I'll just put that in. I can do that myself too. Um, so that's uh, again, that's already in in it's, it's in the truck already heading this way. So that won't that won't hold me up. Uh, and then I'll have this ladder back here to go up to uh, secure the bike and all that kind of stuff and then maybe get tools out of my recovery box up there if I have to go up this way. Um, all right, getting close, getting close. All right, let me, uh, let me figure this out. I'm not going to give you detail by detail instructions. You can go to Olive Van. John there, he has, a, he has a real nice video on showing how to install these things. Um, oh, that's right. Remember last time I put in this here unit over here and I had this open and I showed you how there's no insulation in this door? Well, I ordered some Rockwell wool insulation. Uh, I didn't want to go with that other insulation. It was 
really, really expensive, uh, ridiculously expensive. So I uh, I went online and I looked and I got the like I said the Rockwell wool insulation. It's all coated with this moisture uh, repellent. Uh, it's fire resistant. Um, so that's what I'm going to be putting in all the cavities as I get into these cavities. That's what I'm going to stuff the doors and behind the water tank. And eventually I get the battery come my second battery from my battery bank. When I open that up, I'm going to, I'm going to re-insulate the back of that too. Cause there's no insulation in these things. Um, it's, it's really unbelievable. So anyway, I'm going to redo that piece by piece. So I, I have that. Let me, uh, I'll go get it and show it to you. Alright, here it is. Yeah, I got it at Ace Hardware. I went online. I, I Lowe's said they had it. I went to three Lowe's. Nobody had it in stock. So I said to heck with it. Uh, I went, I, uh, one of the searches brought me to um, uh, Hardware, True Value Hardware, and they had it. So I ordered it. I, had it. I got it in three days. But it's the rock wool, and it's the fire-resistant, water-repellent. Um, let me see if I can open it up here. I had, a, I had a spot where it was already open. Where is it? Let me put this away from me. Okay. Yeah, here it is right here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's unfaced, so there's no paper or anything on here, but this is... This is it, rock wool. I mean, it's no, you know, it's not like the fiberglass. You don't want to use a fiberglass insulation. You want to use this here wool. And um, this is what I'm going to stuff, stuff my cavities with, this stuff right here. So I highly recommend this. I think this is the way to go because uh, that other stuff, I forgot what they call it. Um, have lack wool, something like that. Um, it was... It was unbelievable. Um, so this is the next best stuff. So I'm going to be doing my doors with that while I have while I have this all apart. I'm going to stuff it all in there, and then I'll take that off this afternoon after I install the rack over there. I'm going to re-insulate all this door too. And, uh, so this is what I recommend. Ace Hardware. They'll uh, ship it right to your house or the, to the nearest store. I had them ship it to the nearest store. It's free shipping, and then I just went over there and picked it up. And whatever I have left over, I'm throwing it up in my attic. <laughs> so so it's not going to go to waste. But this is, I was hoping, I thought I thought it was like half the size. I didn't realize it was a full bat like this. But uh, hey, it was like 75 bucks for all this insulation. This is enough to do probably two full vans the whole van uh, if you were doing a, a bill from scratch this is what i would get um okay let me get at it all right we got the bracket on yeah. that came out pretty good it wasn't too too bad um, then we have to put the box on now. That's going to probably be a little more work. <laughs> um, okay. Moving right along. Long day. <laughs> I finally finished it. What a pain in the neck that was. I didn't realize it, but after I installed the frame, then I went to put the box on. I couldn't bolt the box because um, there was enough room to stick my hand behind you. So I had to undo the frame. Uh, I didn't have to take it off, just loosen it up so that, so that I could come in the back side here with a wrench because I had... Uh, I have it bolted in three different places here. What's going on with my phone? It keeps zooming in and out. Anyway, uh, it's done. Yes. So tomorrow I gotta ins insulate the uh, insulate the back of the boat doors, and then this whole back section will be done. Yeah, it's all packed. I got everything in there already. 
basically this is all my camp stuff my camp chair table uh, uh, area uh, canvas for the ground uh, my above the ground fire pit and a couple of uh, leveling blocks um, and then over here I have two LP cylinders LP small burner cast iron pan with a cast iron lid and then all that outside cooking utensils and stuff like that that's all over on this side um, yeah oh and then all the uh, bug all the bug um, repellent uh, mosquito repellent because it's in the spring out uh, off the trail it gets buggy they'll carry you away if you don't have all that stuff so that's all tucked away in there too so yeah it's um and i still have room in there and i still have room in there too so um yeah i'm happy with it I'm happy the way it came out yeah, and I guess up here you throw your garbage bag up here so it's up out of the way. Or you can throw some firewood up here. I don't know how much you can carry. Well, a cup, maybe a bundle, you know, if, you, if you're at a, if you go and buy a camp store, a country store, you can get a bundle or two of firewood that's local because they don't really like it taking firewood in from other areas um, just so you don't transport um, bugs and things like that. Um, so yeah, I could probably carry one or two bundles of uh, firewood up here. I think that's what that's for. Look at how rugged this is. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Oh, and I checked my leveling too. You can see how I'm still, I'm still a little high in the back here. So that's good. Hasn't squatted that much yet. All right, and then we've got this tomorrow. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint, I'm going to go black with that Mercedes Benz uh, logo. We're going to black that out tomorrow. I don't like that. I was considering doing that, uh, that orange color, but I think it'll be too much. So we'll black it out. Um, all right. Sun's down. What do we have? Oh yeah, sun's down. Where is it? Just went below the trees. What time is it? I think it's like, I don't know what time it is here. I want to say it's like 6 now. 6.30. It's getting later and later down here anyway. Uh, sunset, so that's good. Days are getting a little bit longer. Alright. Yeah, look at this mess. Huh? Oh, jeez. So, um, I guess I will just end it here for today. I will uh, catch back with you tomorrow. I want to show you how I insulate these doors. And then, uh, so when you get, you know, if you ever open up your, prior to you opening up all your panels on your door, you'll know what you need to uh, re-insulate it because there's no insulation in these freaking things. So you're going to have to, if you're going out for season, you're going to have to insulate a lot of coal comes in the back here. There's enough stuff, I think, on the walls on the, either side that creates an air gap behind the panels. And um, But the front cab, all that glass, and then this back here are your two, your two weak points for, uh, for losing heat or, or losing AC. Um, okay, see you tomorrow. Okay guys, next day we're insulating here and um, basically you don't have to take off the top. You, there are really no way of getting up there. There were a couple of small round holes here and there and I was able to see there was foam up there, that gray foam that they're using. So I took a stick and I ran, I, I, I ran insulation up these pillars as far as I could and then um, filled in down here but you have to leave a little bit of room here 
because you see the back side of the panel you have you well you, you know can't see it here but you have that little storage compartment here so that storage compartment goes right here so you can you can insulate the sides and and I only put like an insula an inch of insulation here and if it has to compress a little bit up against that pocket that's okay but at least I have insulation here and then I did all the way around here so yeah if anything that's going to help deaden a little bit of the sound too so um, um, I'm going to pop that panel back on there and then this whole door will be done Okay, so back to the insulation. So this is ready. I'm going to put all this back together. Oops, let me push that back this way. Let me pop on that, and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take all that off. I'm going to insulate this door. And that project will be done. Okay, oh, and it came also. That's my ladder. The ladder can. That's tomorrow's project. Or maybe Sunday. I might be going. They have a seafood festival here in Punta Gorda tomorrow. I think I want to go to that. So this will be Sunday's job. And I may, depending on the length of this video, I may add it. I may be right back with the installation of this or I'll save this for another video. Maybe I'll save this with the battery installation. And, and the ladder that will that will fill up. I like to keep my videos around 20 to 30 minutes, no more than that, if I can help it. Um, so okay, let me uh, get back to my project. If I don't see you in a few seconds here, I will see you next week. All right, have a good one.